Chat, and welcome to another Moto Vlog. This one's just gonna be a little bit short and sweet. I'm gonna give you all a life update. Talk about some plans for the not so distant future. Just kind of share what's to come because things are about to get very busy and very exciting. So let's start by talking about motorcycle stuff as we enjoy this beautiful virtual Southern California afternoon. It is June, it's pretty much summer. And as such, I'd like to spend as much time as possible riding my motorcycles. Sometimes in virtual reality like this, or sometimes there's virtual traffic, and other times in standard reality at the racetrack, which, let's be honest, is my favorite place to ride and do motorcycle things. So with that, let me tell you about what's coming up because it is super exciting. As I said before, in just a couple weeks, I am going to be driving on up to Monterey, California to race in the California Road Race Association or CRA's second round of the season at WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Seca, formerly known as Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca. It's probably a racetrack that many of you, like me, have spent plenty of time playing in video games like Forza Motorsport 4. It was a bucket list track of mine to do in a car before I started riding motorcycles. And like I've said in many other videos, I am so pumped to be able to race there. I'll be bringing my 2012 Triumph Daytona 675R race bike and running in the Amateur Super Sport 600 and Super Bike 600 races. Also pumped to be riding another new racetrack. This will be my third new racetrack this year. So that's cool. But I'm really excited to go learn and hopefully apply some of my video game knowledge and go fast. Now my understanding is this is also the first club race at Laguna Seca in many, many years. So I just am super grateful that I have the opportunity at all to go participate in this. It's going to be a lot of fun. But before we get to that, two things coming up pretty immediately. Well, really three things. One of them does not really necessarily pertain to motorcycles, so I'm going to leave that until the end of the video. But first, we got to cut a hole in my belly pan up in front of the exhaust header to get a little bit more air flow into my UK race support oil cooler because I tested it at Auto Club Speedway and while it wasn't completely cooking the oil, I don't really think it was helping much. There was basically no airflow while the bike was going slow. I think it was probably okay while the bike was moving, but it would just heat soak when I'd come into the pits and there'd be no air moving through it. So I took temperature measurements of the surface temperature of the oil cooler and then compared that to the temperature of the oil filter, which is not directly behind the header and the filter was actually cooler so I have a feeling getting a little bit more airflow there is probably going to be quite helpful and better for the bike she ran great all day when I was at Auto Club Speedway just the past weekend well really the other weekend by the time you guys are watching this ocean traffic Must have loaded up the wrong time of day in the map. Simulation is quite busy. But there's an ocean over there, a virtual ocean. But yeah, opening up that panel in the belly pan is certainly not going to hurt anything, can only make things better. So I think that's a good call to make. I think that's gonna be a project for next week because that weekend, I'm going back to Button Willow Raceway Park. It'll be the first time in a few months I've been at Button Willow, and we'll be running configuration number one, which I've never done before. It's extremely similar to configuration number 13, which is what I've raced in the past, and the layout that I've certainly run the most. But 
instead of going through Sweeper, which is one of the final corners on the track that goes into the S's, we're gonna go past that and out to Star Mazda, which is a tight, it will be a right-hand corner, not quite a hairpin, but you do slow down quite a bit. So gonna need to find a new line through there, but other than that, I'd say the track's probably 80% the same. like arriving to the virtual ocean in style. So that'll be good too because that'll give me another opportunity to just try the bike out with the Pirelli slicks that I have on it. This will be my second time riding Pirellis on my Daytona 675R and the first time riding them at a track that I'm familiar with as far as the surface goes and most of the corners. Going to be critical to get some practice in though not just for the bike's sake but also because I don't think there's going to be Friday practice for that CRA round that's in July that I'm also going to be racing in. I think it is the third or fourth weekend of July, like the 22nd, 23rd, something like that. I don't think they're doing Friday practice for configuration number one, so this is really the only opportunity that I have to get a glance at the track. And again, even though it's going to be 80% the same, I have a feeling I can get a huge edge on people by knowing how to take that corner go through Star Mazda. What are these? Crazy Ferraris. So July, more racing after the racing in June at Laguna Seca, and then in August, back at Button Willow Raceway, running configuration 26 counterclockwise for the final round of the CRA season, unless somehow, some way, they complete the new track at Button Willow. But that is the last planned round for CRA this year. I raced configuration 26 counterclockwise back in August of last year. Took my first podium finishes, third place in amateur 600 Super Sport and second place in the amateur 600 Super Bike. You can check that video out up here if you haven't seen it already. And back in traffic. But yes, configuration 26 counterclockwise, which features that star Mazda turn, but I've only done it again counterclockwise. So the line is going to be kind of backwards compared to how I am used to taking it. But this layout also has the longest straightaway on CRA's calendar, where I was seeing just over 150 miles per hour on my Daytona 675R the last time I raced there. So being that I'm a little bit faster now, maybe I'll pick up a couple extra miles per on that straightaway. But either way, I expect to definitely shave a couple seconds off of my times going that direction. My best, I think, was a 159.753, which I did in the Amateur 600 Super Sport race after qualifying with a 202 and change. So yeah, excited to see if I can do any better there. Ooh, even revving up real slow, she sounds pretty good. Who am I kidding? She sounds amazing all the time. But anywho, that is all of the track days and motorcycle racing that I have planned at this moment in time. I anticipate I'll probably do some reciprocity rounds, maybe with AFM or CVMA, maybe even Wera, after the CRA season is done, because I've got plenty on my plate through August, and I don't really think that they run in July or August just because it gets so hot. But anywho, very excited to continue my riding and racing on track. That is all that I have planned for now. So in other news, I'm moving, and not just like kind of locally, like, you know, a couple miles away, but I'm actually moving out to the Temecula Valley area. My girlfriend and I bought our first house, so that'll actually be happening this weekend, and I'll be a bit closer to Chuck Walla Valley Raceway, but a little bit further from Button Willow. That said, we got basically our dream house. The house itself is fantastic. Got a lot of garage space, more than we've got now, so that's clutch. 
But we're super excited to just have our own place that we can really do just about whatever we want with, aside from what the HOA won't let us do. But from what I've heard, they're pretty chill. They don't charge us too much money, so I'll take it. Still got a little bit of packing to do, but we're gonna get it all done on time, and luckily we hired movers. If you have ever moved without movers, highly recommend you pay for movers. Worth every penny, in my opinion. Got another motorcycling friend. I've seen a few bikes out in this virtual world today. Is this an MV Agusta? It's definitely an MV Agusta. Got the three pipes on the side there. Brutale 800. Who can say? A little braver than I am in this traffic. That is for sure. But yeah, you're going to start seeing some content in a new virtual reality map that I'm working on right now as well. So give that a couple weeks and everything will look completely different. Except for me and my motorcycle. We'll be the same. I love MVs! It is a Brutale. Sick bike. But yeah, that's what's new and exciting with me. Moving content is going to be looking a little bit different in a different virtual environment. Still going to be the same old Chad and the same old 210v4. With that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I would sincerely appreciate a gentle little click of the like button and consider subscribing for more motorcycling adventures and content like this. Drop a comment below. What are your riding plans for the summer? Any track days, any trips? Let's talk about it in the comments. Let's just take one more look at this gorgeous view. Isn't that something? Thanks again so much for watching, and I'll hope to catch you in the next one. Until then, later.